We can see now that in addition to this eerie doll, this trunk contains several rolls of yarn, which you can see spilling around. Now the purple roll has been dragged by the dog, leaving two strands strewn across the floor behind her. These double lines created by the strands represent double-stranded DNA. Double lines of yarn for double-stranded DNA virus. On the box, we see these ominous markings, 666, do not open. That's pretty freaky. If this eerie doll was hiding out in this 666 box, it's pretty safe to say that the doll's evil. Anyways, the number 666 represents that Roseola is HHV6. Now look up at the bulletin board here. The room houses a Catholic minister, as indicated by that cross on the necklace. Next to the cross necklace is a paper listing the seven deadly sins, an idea often attributed to Catholicism. And the number seven will help you remember that HHV7 is also included in this image. It can cause roseola just like HHV6 with that 666 box. But HHV7 is a far less common cause than HHV6. So again, seven deadly sins for HHV7. Now look at this telephone ringing like crazy. It's shaking about and practically having a seizure. Well, this shaking telephone does, in fact, represent a seizure. Seizures often occur in patients with roseola. So a patient will get a high fever, and then they get a seizure, a febrile seizure, followed by a macular papular rash. In fact, this is generally the order in which symptoms present. You start with the high fever. This induces a seizure, which is also called a febrile seizure, or a seizure caused by a high fever. Then a maculopapular rash develops, again, starting at the head and traveling to the rest of the body. 